Okay, hey everyone. I am doing this quick video for everyone to see. Uh, this is this is how to mask or forward a GoDaddy link to, let's say, uh, in this case, it's a it's a it's an affiliate uh, link that you want to connect it to. Oftentimes, it's really smart to go ahead and forward a uh, an affiliate mark. And if you have an affiliate with someone with a, maybe a system you're marketing, because if you're doing some ads or you're doing some banners or things like that, it's it's a lot easier to have a domain name. And I'll show you what I mean. And and you might be watching this is this might be very basic for you, but you'd be surprised how people just don't understand the basics like this. Uh, but if you get your own domain name, and then you forward it. Uh, utilizing your link and let me show you I'm actually I logged into my GoDaddy account and what you want to do is you want to go under my account and then what you're gonna see right here is you're gonna see domains after you purchase the domain now here's a quick tip if you're looking to purchase some domains with GoDaddy you can uh, let me just show you something really quick you can actually um, go over to Google and you can type in go uh, GoDaddy coupons okay and you'll see a whole bunch of links that you can go to. I use fatwallet.com a lot. And you can get, now these should let you use, you should be able to use these codes. Like you can get .coms for the first time for $1.99. So I highly suggest use fatwallet.com. There's other ones too if, when you Google it uh, to make sure that you get a pretty heavy discount instead of paying like the $12 or $14 for a domain. So if you're if that's what you're wanting to do then I would do that okay because you can get a pretty big discount and you know with GoDaddy itself let me kind of go to the front um, when you're getting a domain you know for example I actually have a domain let me come over here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click launch and when I click launch under my GoDaddy account you're gonna see all of my links okay so I have a whole bunch of different links here and they all have a they all serve a specific purpose uh, you can also subdomain links it's just it's totally up to you uh, some people may not have uh, the skill set to do that yet so this is very basic so for example my internet freedom school, school formula I am using this for one of my affiliate links so what you want to do is you want to click that okay you want to highlight over forward don't don't click it just highlight over it click forwarding domains and then what you want to do is you want to enter in the domain okay so let me just kind of show you mine this one is for my affiliate link with the Freedom Fighters and you want to make sure uh, whether it's HTTP or HTTPS okay I think this one's HTTPS and then you wanna you can leave permanent but you want to make sure that you do forward only especially with this one some of them you can mask but I suggest just forwarding only and then uh, you click save because I already have done this you click save and then it's saved and you give it they say to give it like 24 hours but honestly if you give it like an hour it, it should be masked right so it's really simple you just go under your go to get daddy account or whatever uh, domain company that you use. I use GoDaddy a lot because they're just really simple. I've just been using them for so many years. I just don't change. And then you forward that and then boom, you're done. You wait about an hour or two and then you can start using the link that you have actually used. But what I try to do is when I am forwarding a link, I always try to keep it in alignment with uh, the affiliate company that I'm using and their affiliate system that I'm using. So in that case, you know, the Freedom Fighters Network, you know, you can you can search through here and see which one is available, right? And I try to keep it congruent with what I'm talking about so I can just take that domain and I can put it in banners. And then another thing that I do is I, while well, I got you here, I'm going to take you over to my blog, is I blog about the things that, I do affiliate marketing on and this is a system that I work with that uh, I've already had some tremendous success with as a matter of fact I'll put a link below here it's crazy I've already I increased my residual income with this within 72 hours close to fifteen hundred dollars which is just nuts it's just converting like crazy uh, but anyways uh, what I do is I blog about 
and things that things that I affiliate market about and that's such a powerful way to just to start with some basic marketing online okay so once you're done doing that you can utilize that link and then what you want to do is you want to start blogging and with this particular blog that I work with and I absolutely love uh, it's so customizable what I love about it is that literally I can change out uh, everything you know I can even use a custom domain because instead of uh, uh, the the link that goes with this this blog right I can actually get it I can get a link with GoDaddy right for my uh, for my blog and then I can actually set up a custom domain which is really simple to do um, that's really easy to do you know if you go under custom domain I already have this one set up you put in the domain that you've purchased from GoDaddy and then what you want to do is you go back to GoDaddy. You know, let me kind of get, let me go back to to some domains for you, and see. Let me just kind of show you. Let me unhighlight this one. Just showing you some quick things here. Uh, it's really simple to do. What you want to do on the one that you purchase that you want to make you want to highlight as your blog, right? All you do is go under the um, you click on the domain, okay, uh, in your account, and then you want to go to DN DNS zone file. And then what you want to do is you want to add it to the C name. So in this case, my blog is purekatie.empowernetwork.com, and I put that in here. Okay, I just add that in here. It's very simple to add. Okay, in the C name, and then when then what I do is I go back to my blog and I make sure that it's entered under my custom domain, my actual domain, which is Katie Hunt Speaks. I click save the domain and you you might need to give this a few hours you give it a few hours and then you'll be able to highlight this actual domain instead of them having to go to purekatie.empowernetwork.com so it's so much easier to do it that way that's a simple way to do it in GoDaddy other people direct it different ways but uh, I've actually I called GoDaddy customer service and this is the easiest way they've walked me through it so you literally all you got to do is add your um, your original blog name which you'll get that in your back office when you set it up with uh, with Empower Network when you set up your blog it's really simple to do and then you just link it to GoDaddy and you're all good and then you can use your actual domain and then voila that is your that is your customized blog which is so easy to do uh, I've had like for example this banner I had made for five dollars you know and then you can change out links here you can just this is such an awesome blog it's such an easy thing to set up so I just wanted to kind of uh, state some simple tips that you can be doing to get yourself started and get your blog posts going uh, I can hook you up if you want to know the guy I go to with Fiverr I can hook you up that too I'll, I'll, I'll post that information below this video but it's just really simple to do and this is a great way to affiliate market a little bit more professionally kind of set yourself apart so you're not using actual affiliate links and then you can start blogging about it getting a professional blog up is very critical for your success online as a matter of fact everybody has a blog the reason why I use this blog is because uh, because there's so many people blogging on this domain name uh, it increases the traffic and the exposure on Google and Google loves the more traffic to a specific domain the better so that will increase um, I mean we have millions of people coming to this particular link and that can increase your exposure online in Google and that's really really huge that's why I use this blog and another thing I love about this blog is that I can actually do 10 different domains so I have different domain or I have different blogs within the same blog so I have one blog but I actually can do 10 different blogs within that one blog and that's huge too because I can speak to different markets and it's very critical to be speaking to different markets different target markets to help you market much more professionally online so I hope I hope this helped for now I'm signing off for now uh, and I will talk to you soon information will be below this video alright take care